see if it's possible for me to do a short video. <laughs> okay, I was asked, uh, somebody watched a video from way, way back about um, packing and things you leave behind. And I've always had a love for books. And when I left for Ecuador, it took me two months to sort through. I had hundreds and hundreds of books, and um, they're heavy. So this is what I ended up with, and this is what I brought. And they're heavy enough. So here are these books. The question was, what books are so important that they survived after all the others did not? This one is just a classic. Um, I have an affinity for math and science, and this has always fulfilled that. I've been through it many times, and I'll go through it many times more. I just love this. And then here, Book of Virtues, put together by William Bennett. It's a series of s stories with morals to them, and I've just always love those stories and love that book and um, it's one of those things that you can read again and again and I've got two books here about Deming he's one of my heroes and if you were to ask me why uh, I could go on and on and on about this guy. I've read everything he's written. These two I hadn't actually read yet, um, not written by him, but about him. So I brought them. Founding Brothers, about the founding of the United States and what it meant, put in context, loved it. This is one of the more heart-wrenching books I've ever read. If, um, if you've read this, you'll know why. It doesn't matter what political party you are. This is uh, stories, letters, speeches that he's written throughout his life put together into this book. It's, it's pretty amazing. And of course, uh, this is actually a Bible this is a Jehovah Witness version, and I've kept this for many, many years because it's actually a study version, and it has uh, notes and context and um, research sources. And when I get bored, that's just a fun thing for me to do. I love history. I love science. And uh, this is a history. And I find it fascinating. So those are the books that made the cut. Nice big lemonade. At one of my favorite restaurants. It's called Toro Chuleta. It's really good. It's traditional food, but it's done in a really really good way um, it's not cheap but it's uh, definitely if you come to Armenia you need to check your place out mm, yum. Tree of Love. Looks more like the circle of life, doesn't it? Might want a little context for this, for the size of it. It's about 12 feet across. Parque Fundadores kind of a long thin park that's right next to um, the park of life it's also right next to where I do all my banking you see this a lot you see this little lane here you can use bikes 
Uh, the push carts will go up and down there and it keeps the cars out. Um, I like that. So I'm here to pay my gas bill and my light bill. And uh, there's a little line. They open at 2, which is in a couple minutes. They're out for lunch. And uh, my total gas and lights for this month comes to $7. You have to love Columbia, where an ugly fat old man can have a hot chick. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.